and I'm here to give you a preview of the hydrostatic force on plane surface experiment. The objective of this experiment is for us to determine the hydrostatic force in a semi-submerged and fully submerged rectangular plane. Now what we have here on top of this hydraulic bench is what we call the hydrostatic pressure apparatus. Let us first familiarize ourselves with the parts of this apparatus. The orange part inside the container is what we call the quadrant. The quadrant has graduations or markings on its side for us to determine the depth of water inside the container. Now on this side, we can see what we call the quadrant plane. The quadrant plane is a rectangular plane with a width of about 75 mm, depth of 100 mm, from the bottom to the full room is about 200 mm, from the full room to this point wherein we have here the weight pan or where we apply the weight is about 7, 275 mm. The condition that we have here is the partially or semi-submerged condition. As you can see, only part of the rectangular plane or the quadrant plane is submerged in water. Hydrostatic forces develop on that plane that is submerged in water and the moment due to that hydrostatic force will go clockwise about the full group or that will tend to push this quadrant upward. But that will be balanced or that is balanced by the moment due to this weight on this side that goes counterclockwise. As you can see, we have here a balanced condition and that can be seen through this marking at this part of this apparatus. Now let us consider the fully submerged condition. Let us carefully add water on this corner and avoid the top portion of the quadrant from getting wet. There you go. Now we have now what we call the fully submerged condition. The quadrant plane is fully submerged in water. And the moment due to the hydrostatic force is now greater than the moment due to this weight. So what we are going to do is to balance the effect of the hydrostatic force by adding more weight on the weight pan. Okay, a bit more. Go, too much. Maybe this will do. There you go. Is it balanced? Not yet. Maybe let's just add water. Balance. There you go. So as you can see, we have now a balanced condition. That means that the moment due to the hydrostatic force on the quadrant plane that goes clockwise about the full room is now equal to the moment due to this weight that goes counter clockwise. So we have here a balanced condition. So that's how we perform this experiment. Until then, see you in class.